Welcome to Cairns, <laughs> ladies. Cairns is a place in tropical far north Queensland. Yes. So we have lots of champagnes. What else do we so do? So tomorrow I've organised three sports cars. So I'm splitting the original girls up because I want an argument to kick off at my baby moon. I want this trip to be about drama. And the only way to do that is to put them in a bad environment. <laughs> My God! This is a woman that has a lot of trouble keeping a straight line on a fucking road. What are you thinking about all the ladies? I dislike everybody. There's not one person that I like. It was awful. Yeah, Kyla did say on this trip, Janet had said that she did attack us. I can categorically say Janet has said negative words about Cherry. Maniac! I'm alive! Where is everybody? Spot the lesser known Melbourne female in her natural habitat. I know that you emailed me prior to this trip and said, could you dress me for this trip? What Simone is actually saying is that I have asked her if she would dress me. And Cherry shot me a death stare. I mean, I'm literally confused. It was an email. I thought that was a bit odd. You're obsessed with me. Yes. But Simone is teeny weeny. Cherry overreacted. Ooh, and teeny tiny. Very small. No, don't make that voice. Don't make an idiot of me. Say whatever I like. Obviously, I wanted to go and punch Angelie. It's, it's so nuts. It's, it's like fucked up. I actually only really quite recently started legitimately having orgasms. A lot of those women would not get wet in a heartbeat. Uh, the first time that it happened was with a woman. I bought Angelina oh, home once. I you showed up. Yes. You're a blatant liar, Carla. Janet, you don't know my life. Janet finally puts her beef on the table and says, I couldn't possibly have spent time in Angelina. The I did I home, wonder I why my orgasms wasn't better. I knew Kyla 10 years ago, never been with a girl in her life. We have a pathological liar in our midst. But you don't know about my life? You know what? We don't give a shit. I'm done with you. You're a fucking psychopath. This is the boat. Oh, my God, look at it. No, I'm not worried about being confined with Kyla. I'm just going to push her off the goddamn boat. Can we steer the ship? We're sitting on the front of the boat, enjoying the view, feeling like we're having the best time, and then... <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. Bloody hell, have you got any idea what you're doing? Simone's in charge. She's only had nine champagne. Simone and Kyla um, are living their best lives, and I'm sitting side boat, vomiting. I, I, I think... <laughs> Help! Help! Bye-bye. We got you a beautiful designer bag. I oh. can't believe that. That's It's even got a little... Go oh, my but goodness. I'm keeping that bag! <laughs> Give it to me! Oh, you can afford it! Simone, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> What the fuck? My thoughts on Cherry at this point is have some manners. Sorry. Did you ladies get horny? I lifted yeah. my legs up nice and high. I did have mild concussion. That's what got me pregnant. How did you get pregnant, Janet? Six. We love you, we appreciate you, and congratulations! Yeah. We need to discuss something that I think all of us are thinking, Simone, is banal. I don't absorb such banal things. Me too. <laughs> Okay, let me speak, it. let me speak. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That wasn't very nice. You owe me, like, a small apology. I'm sorry. I no, 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 let me speak. It Fuck. would have occurred Girl, that it women. was... I didn't actually know it was possible to be such a nasty bitch. Simone's on her high horse. No, let me speak, it. let me speak. Seriously. Uh, is this woman for real? What is banal? Banal. It's banal. Oh, really? That's banal? I'm not exactly dealing with the biggest brains here. Most of them are empty, vacuous airheads who don't have anything in their lives except money. 